It is August 5th, 2020. We're here at 1997 Hacienda Circle in El Cajon, California, 92020. We're going to inspect the main sewer lines here with the camera. We have two 3-inch ABS cleanouts here for the property. This cleanout closest to the property will sweep away from the property. So we're actually going to start here first to look at everything as it leaves the house. We have an immediate 45 degree elbow turn going down and then you can see it immediately transitions into cast iron. It's a clean transition. So we're going down this vertical pipe here at a 45 degree angle. Cast iron looks in good condition here. Here we have a corrected 45 and we immediately transition into clay pipe. So now we're into 4 inch clay pipe. Just a little bit of standing water there. Clay pipe. Looks like some little debris on the bottom that might have been flushed out. I'm not sure if that's some paint residue or some other material, I'm not really sure. So we do have a root intrusions right here. Now the very first clay, we thought we saw one little tiny, I'm going to pull back, um, minuscule root that might be growing in but didn't want to say anything in case it wasn't. But going to back up through all this clay one more time so here's our transition and then as we go across here clay has its hubs every four feet so on the very upper left of the screen we can kind of see what might be literally one tiny little miniature root trying to grow in there um, it could be um, especially since we now know that the next hub has a lot of roots so so again, we got this little bit of uh, debris that, again, is, I'm assuming is paint or some other construction material that got flushed down the line. Um, this needs to be cleaned up. Yep, you can see all this little debris. Now it's actually flaking apart, moving on us. So we've got these roots right here in the clay pipe. You can see growing in on the left and right hand side there at the bottom area. So all this needs to be cleaned up and flushed out. We have another large intrusion right here. This is blocking a lot of the pipe right here. You can see uh, at least 50% of the lines being blocked by this heavy root intrusion. A turn on the line right here. And this is already the end of the line. So this is the big city pipe right here um, out in the street. So it's a short run from here, um, but we do have two areas here that are going to have to be cleaned up for roots as well as the other construction debris needs to be cleaned up as well. So we would use a chain knocker system or you can use a hydro jetter. And then the roots that are here will need to be maintained. Um, so once a year to maybe even every nine to ten months preferably, a foaming root chemical will need to be poured down from these cleanouts. Um, which foams up inside the pipe and that will keep the roots from growing back in and actually even kills them um, a little bit away from the pipe as well. So again there's the second intrusion, the very heavy one. Here's this intrusion with all this construction debris that needs to be removed as well. And again, may have a little tiny small root on the upper left of that hub right there, uh, but that would be treated with the foaming chemical, so now the cleaning obviously needs to be done on that one. So we're going to go ahead and pause the video and pull back out here to the other clean out. Okay, so we just went from the clean out again that was closest to the home, that sweeps away, and then we have our other clean out that goes back into the house. We're now going to go ahead and go back in through here. We have three bathrooms in the house. Push through here. See if this 
makes the proper turns with the T-junctions to sweep that way. So here we have a T-junction right here. So you can see that it looks like we're probably actually passing in through the kitchen line. So more than likely what this little T-junction is done is a swivel. So this clean out here actually cannot actually do anything for the system. It's actually um, basically kind of an improperly placed Y junction when they did. So they should have placed a, um, a, a Y fitting but had the kitchen come in from the side um, off a double branch even possibly. But this other clean out it appears is not going to let you do anything for the main part of the house. So it's not an accessible clean out. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause the video. We're going to go from the kitchen clean out and push through to re-double check and verify that actually this line here that we're coming up to, which does appear to be a, re a reducer right there, is the kitchen line. So again, here's our Y junction. We're going to leave our camera right here. We're going to put a second camera inside the system. Okay, so now we have our second camera here outside the kitchen window. Here's our two inch clean out. We ran water through the kitchen drain. Um, and the reason we always do that um, in a vacant house, we wanna put water in the system to make sure that the pipe has proper slope and that it, there's no areas that are holding water, which we call a sag. So, we could see from the crawl space, this is again, all two inch ABS plastic pipe. So you can see we have a little bit of standing water there, but not too bad, very minimal. It's not a big deal there. And sometimes we'll get some standing water if there's actually some buildup or debris in the line, and that can be why it's holding water, not that the slope is bad, but Right here we can see that it's holding a little bit more water than we'd want to see for a kitchen. Um, so you can see right here, again we have no water running but we're under and so we have a new rigid camera um, that actually has a um, an incline uh, degree built into the camera head. So. It's basically called tilt sense. It tells us the basic ballpark angle. And right now we're at positive one, and of course it needs to be negative um, to be downward slope. So we can see that the kitchen line here um, does need to be corrected. Because what's going to happen is, is that all the fat and grease is going to float through here and then stick to the walls and then bind up. Um, and either also just other hard material, the other food that gets chopped and put down the line, and eventually lead to a stoppages. And um, and if the pipe is not supported, which we've not seen, check that as well. Um, then that will cause a further sag because the weight of the water itself on the pipe will actually keep over time with the heat of the day, the heat of the water, cause the pipe to get softer and then get more, even worse. So this will need to be corrected um, in the crawl space of the house. So this is not to code. Yeah, this is really bad. Now we're just completely underwater here. There's actually, oh my gosh, yeah, we're, we're, there's, we're literally, it doesn't look like, there we go. We're completely underwater, it's just crystal clear because it's, and now we're coming out of this. So this is all gonna have to be redone underneath the house. That's completely out of code and improper. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just keep pushing through here. Some German water cockroach bugs there. Okay, and there's our other camera lens right there, you can see. So we just came up to our other camera. So um, this is the end of the kitchen line. But as again, as we back up here, all this is gonna have to be fixed. Um, the slope of the pipe. Um, Pull back a little bit more here in this straight run. Here's where we got some standing water starting right here. So right here we're a little bit past 34 feet is essentially where it um, ends. And we're going to pause the video for one quick second. Okay, so we're going to continue to pull back here on the line. So again, a little bit past 34 feet. And we're just checking the beginning of this again. 
So right here, we've got about a 10 foot run. So you can see right here we're coming up on 25 feet. Um, so right at from about 24 feet to 34 feet, all that piping needs to be corrected completely. So we're going to pause the video and move over to the next clean out. Okay, so we moved over to this side of the house here where we have the master bathroom. And then over here on this other corner, um, essentially the other um, ending bathroom in the very corner front of the house. So everything was repiped. It uh, was not done to code. Uh, every fixture that is ever put on an exterior wall is required to have a clean out. Um, and that would have been during, if there wasn't an inspection, the plumber should have known and put that in. We have no clean out access to the main sewer here. So as we just showed, the front clean out from the front of the house does not allow you to access the sewer main. It actually goes straight into and dumps into the kitchen line. So that clean out was installed improperly with the way the T-fittings were placed under the house. And then we have no three inch clean outs here and that doorway right there leads to the crawlspace so we can see that they uh, did none. All we have right here is this two inch access point and this leads down from the two bathroom sinks of this corner bathroom. We have a sanitary T here, <coughs> excuse me, which is fine. It's just a very hard turn um, for cameras and cables to make, but we did push through here. It's a little bit of standing water there. So here's where the uh, lavatory sink line that we're in right here for this front corner bathroom leads into the main sewer. So we're now in the main sewer that leads across. We've got some standing water here, you can see already. So again, when we got here earlier, we flushed um, all the toilets to put water in the system because it's unoccupied right now. So you can see that the slope is incorrect here. We can see even, uh, obviously it's holding water, but we can also see with our tilt sense on this rigid camera that we're at a positive three degrees. So all these pipes have to be replaced and redone. Um, this should be the T-junction here off the left where the master bathroom toilet dumps into the system. Now we have no clean out or access, so we're going to have to go ahead and try to go through the roof vent um, to go ahead and access that part of the system. So you can see right here, this is all out of code, was not installed properly. So this will all have to be recorrected under the house. So again, those clean outs need to be installed and the pipe's gonna have to be completely repositioned um, and or cut out and redone if the pipes are there, don't have the movement with all the T's and the other spots um, to adjust that. So we're coming out of this standing water here on the system. So either this wasn't inspected or permitted and inspected by the city or the plumber that did it didn't use what's called a red line level. A red line level shows the degrees in pitch um, when you put it on a pipe to confirm that it has um, the negative two or negative one degrees of either one or two degrees fall that's required to have slope. In this case it's required to have two degrees a quarter inch per foot. This right here which is the other T-junction that's picking up the hallway bathroom toilet. So we're now continuing across. So I can see from our camera that we're about flat or level. We have very little pitch and that's why you can see right here we're holding water again. Not real intense, but we are holding water because the pipe does not have downhill slope. So again, holding water throughout right here. Not supposed to be holding any water because it can hold debris, sewage. Okay, here you go. You can see a bunch of feces and stuff that's just not moving down the line. So somebody came here and used the facilities and not flowing out of the system. A bunch of it in here. Just keep trying to push this out. Okay, and here's the end of the line right here with our other camera. So you can see your other camera right there. There's the spring. So as we back up right here, System here.
Okay, so again, here's the hall bathroom. And as we push forward here again, show this one more quick time. It doesn't show up on the video recording, uh, the degree or the pitch of the pipe. Um, we can only see it on our monitor, unfortunately, the way the um, software is set up. But anyway, you can see with the standing water here that we've already shown, the pipe is essentially just completely level here. It does not have downward slope on the line. Got a little bit here. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this camera back. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna have to go up on the rooftop to go ahead and show the master bathroom toilet to ensure that that line is basically also not holding water for its short run that it makes before it ties into the main sewer. So again, here's this area that's holding a lot of water right here. Completely underwater the camera right there. So all that's going to have to be repaired. So here's our T-junction for the master bathroom. So we're going to go ahead and pause. Okay, so we've taken out our camera that was on the front lawn. We moved over here to the rooftop of the house. And here is the two inch vent for the master bathroom toilet because we don't have a three inch clean out access. And you are required to have a three inch clean out access the same size as the pipe. So the two inch clean out we went through, uh, which also again had a sanitary T, was for the lavatory sink. You can enter the sewer, but you're not gonna be able to clean it out uh, from there because you can't get a proper size cutting bit through there. So that's also why that two inch clean out uh, does not suffice to code. We had to pull our camera out here to wipe off the cobwebs and debris on the pipe here. So we'll go back down this vertical pipe and hopefully we can make this transition to see inside this line. Okay, here we go. There's the two inch from now into the three inch pipe here. So we're holding a little bit of water here. We can actually kind of tell when you go in the crawl space. There's one little section right before the Y junction uh, where we're about to run into our other camera. And we could actually almost tell from eyeballing it that it didn't look right. It looked a little askew uh, right coming up to this Y. And sure enough, you can see we're completely holding water here. So this pipe was not installed properly to code. It is holding water here. It does not have proper downhill slope. You can see it carrying all this water throughout the system here for quite a few feet. And there's our orange red push rod where we left with our other camera from the side of the house in the main sewer. So this is that T-junction and you can see it's completely done wrong and out of code. So this needs to be corrected unfortunately. Pulling back through all that. So again, this is quite a distance. All that needs to be redone. Again, also with the additional three inch clean out accessible from the side of the house um, for equipment, full size uh, cables and cutting bits to enter the pipe. So we're gonna go ahead and pause the video and move to the laundry. Okay, so we moved over to the other part of the roof here, closer to the front of the house. We have our two inch vent here that should lead into the laundry. Only needed to be inch and a half, but they just ran two inch. We're going down this vertical here. Okay, here's our two inch entry point. So the trap and trap arm enter right here um, inside the wall. Uh, the laundry's in a closet inside the house. And it goes vertically down a little bit more. Here's the 90 degree turn and the sweep. Now running horizontally across. Looks like we've got some wood chips here from the construction debris. Somebody didn't cover up the pipe when they were drilling. Okay, and that goes in, and there we go. So that looks good. The laundry has a clean junction across into the system. We're now back in the main sewer right here again. So the laundry is okay. Um, for the drain line. We're going to go ahead and pause the video. 
Okay, so we moved into the crawl space, so we're currently standing underneath the master bathroom here, and here is the master bathroom toilet right here. Let's just shine our flashlight across. Now, we can't go through traps with the camera, but we did want to go ahead and show this because we knew we had problems with the kitchen as well as the main sewer. Um, here is the shower stall and the tub drain for the master bathroom and you can actually see that the pipe is actually strapped and adhered to the bottom of the joist on um, both of the beginnings of these traps and then as we actually look across where our flashlight is kind of panning to kind of hard to walk with this camera the pipe is completely strapped against the joist and this is four feet for the shower uh, stall drain and it's about six seven feet for the tub so they don't have any slope on these pipes. They're probably pretty much just level. Um, and again, it has to be a quarter inch of fall for, for, for every foot it travels. So for this tub line, that's a good six feet across at least, that would need to be an inch and a half deeper as it travels down. And again, it's right against the joist here. And as we go all the way down and across, it's right against the joist there, basically. So they don't have the proper slope on any of these pipings. Um, these being such a short distance may not be a huge problem, um, and at least they're not going uphill, but it just wasn't done to code. So we're going to go ahead and pause and move into the laundry room. Okay, so we're just here in the laundry, we just wanted to go ahead and show, so um, anytime a laundry is inside a unit like this, it can cause a lot of water damage from a hose bursting to the drain backing up or even the machine leaking. So no pan was installed, so really a washing machine pan needs to be installed on this deck. And then uh, through the deck, a hole will be drilled so that the drain of that pan can then go underneath the house so it doesn't cause property damage where remediation would be required. We additionally usually recommend flood stops be installed on these hot and cold water lines which lead to the hoses in the machine, which are electronic solenoid controlled uh, that have a sensor pad. So if water leaks, it shuts the system down. We noticed when we were in the crawl space that the dryer duct is out of code and uh, wrong material is used. You can see this little flimsy corrugated pull apart stuff here. This is not approved dryer duct material. It has to be four inch round smooth wall um, piping and that was not used. Uh, this piping has to go under some main support joists, um, beams underneath the house that are load bearing. So it also has some uphill climb. So that's really going to hold lint and it becomes a fire hazard. So insurance companies and, and builders and city inspectors do not allow this material. And this was used the entire way. Um, additionally, as you can see, it's disconnected. Um, there's our gas line right there, you can see. So they installed the gas line in the way and then it's not even connected to this little collar they put into the floor. So all the lint and carbon monoxide right now is just gonna blow down and under the house. So that gas line might need to be shifted so that you can get this um, straight pipe put in. You cannot use this flexi stuff, it's not approved. So that's gonna have to be corrected as well here um, in the laundry. There's the gas where it comes up right here on the side. So that concludes the recording for this property.